Hi, welcome to Galaxy. Your Web3 community is waiting. Galaxy is the leading platform for building community in Web3. We are the infrastructure behind a famous quests and campaigns such as our, our Virtual Odyssey, Optimism Quest, and most recently, Linea Voyage. So I'm here today to show you how you can build uh, and engage your community in an authentic way with reward-based loyalty programs on-chain. So I'm going to try to keep this in 10 minutes. Um, this is our website. As a user, your users will come in and connect to Galaxy ID. On their Galaxy ID, this is where they're able to bind their Ethereum wallets, Solana, um, Aptos. They have also, they can also bind their Twitter, GitHub, Discord, and Telegram. So this is how we can track actions done on chain and off chain through these different um, actions here. They don't have to find everything, but they can. This is also the dashboard where they can see all the NFTs they've collected through Galaxy. Their OATS. OATS are on-chain achievement tokens. These are NFT badges that they can collect um, th for doing specific actions. All of the credentials. So these are things that they've done on-chain, off-chain that we're recording with you. And points. Uh, points basically is a new feature that we just added where basically you can attribute different points to different actions and have a leaderboard of your top uh, performing uh, users. And on the user side, this is where they would see all their points. So let's go behind and see the dashboard. You would go to My Spaces, click on your space. So when we talk about a space, you would have your logo and your brand here. So in this case for Galaxy, we'll go to Galaxy and enter our enter our wallet uh, and then this is what it looks like so you would see all the campaigns you've done in the past you would also see mintless mintless is a new feature of ours this is basically if you're uh, thinking of dropping a new nft project and want to uh, allow list some people on it you can have a campaign that's a mintless um, nft contracts and then also the leaderboard is when you would attribute those points that I was talking about earlier to people, you would see uh, the top performing um, users in your space. So the leaderboard and the points are across all of your campaigns. So it's really specific to your brand. On the space, you would also see the number of people who follow your space. Uh, you can credential this, the backers. So all of your VCs are people who are backing your project. And then you can categorize what your uh, project is in. And if you have a token, we have that as well. And then your points. So let's, for the fun of it, go and try to create a campaign. So you would, create, you would click on create. We have a few different types of campaigns here. We have create a campaign. So this is your normal quest-based, task-based campaign. Collection campaign is basically think of it as a campaign within a campaign. So you could do, um, you let's say you had a five week big campaign with different missions or different quests every week. You could use this, um, and you could also put them in a sequential order. So that's really great. Where you would say you have to complete campaign one before going to campaign two, and these could all live within one campaign. Mint list, again, this is for that whitelist feature. Um, so anyone who you want to create engagement and hype before you launch your con before you launch your NFT project and want to make sure that you're rewarding users and this you can do through a raffle or, or any other way. Um, and then deploy a contract is if you wanted to deploy your own uh, smart contract. We have a very easy plug and play way to do it. So for today, let's just do the create a campaign because that's the easiest one. So you start with um, your campaign info, uh, which basically starts with your title. So for the heck of it, we can say, you know, Galaxy onboarding to the dashboard. And then you would add a description here. What is the campaign? What is, what is it for? Your campaign period, when does it start? When does it end? It could have no end time, maybe it's a, uh, Maybe it's an ongoing campaign that's just to get people onboarded and trying your project. And then who can see this campaign? Basically, public means that this would be live on our website. Uh, anyone could see it. Private would just mean that it's accessible through only one private link. If you go to next, these are, are the rewards. So this is where it gets really interesting. So there's the OATS on chain achievement token. These are super easy to use. You can select what network you want them on. So we have a few networks here, Optimism, Avalanche, Aptos, 
uh, BNB and Polygon. So for now, Optimism and Avalanche are actually subsidizing the oats, which is great. Uh, if not, you um, can put a little bit of gas yourself, or you can decide if you want your users to pay the gas fee to be able to mint this. Uh, if ever you wanted to put some properties and traits, you could do that as well. And there's a few reward uh, systems. So either you could go first come, first serve, or, um, oh, I guess that's, not, that's the other one. That's the only one for this one. And then a minting cap. So uh, that's where the first come, first serve is interesting because you can do an unlimited minting cap or maybe you say 50 people uh, for the first come. It's super easy. You can click here to upload if you already have any art. Uh, let's use for in this example, the picture of our founder. Uh, if you didn't, uh, you could uh, just use a template. So let's say you were using this for an AMA, a Discord AMA, a Twitter space, and you wanted something super easy, you would click on create a template. Uh, we have different options, which always has your logo and some text. So you could say Galaxy onboarding dashboard and choose what you wanted. So that's a very simple way of doing that. And that would create your own. If we go to the next reward, which is NFTs, this is uh, your own NFT project. So super easy. You would upload the file here, up upload the NFT name. Um, you could also create a new contract. So the contract is super easy to use. Uh, you uh, see the name of the contract, the symbol of the contract, and what chain you want it deployed. Very plug and play. Um, and that will create your own contract. So going back to our main page. Here you go. You could add uh, you could add an NFT here and add different traits and uh, values. Uh, first come, first serve, and then the minting cap. We have custom rewards, so this means that maybe you don't have an NFT or you don't know exactly what you want to give. So you could uh, do a raffle in this case. Um, you could send an email, uh, you could um, do first come first serve, and then you could basically, maybe you wanted to send the merch or whatever. So this is uh, what the custom rewards means. And you can save the amount of winners. The mystery box is quite a fun one. This is another NFT one where you could add multiple, think of it as Pokemon cards. You could add multiple NFTs with different rare, different weighted rarities. So let's say you had five NFTs in there and then NFT number five had 10% chance of getting, of getting it while the other ones had, you know, 20% chance of getting it. Uh, so you really want to try to get to do a lot of quests in order to get, you know, all five of those NFTs. Token is pretty straightforward. You can choose. We have a few tokens for right now. Uh, we've got the main tokens on these chains on Polygon, BNB, and Ethereum. So some of the stable coins on that. Uh, token amount per winner. How many winners? Is it a first come for a server or a raffle? So you gotta get the point of it and the amount of winners. And then the last one is a just is the Discord role. So you could actually give uh, create a new role if someone has done specific tasks in your um, space. Now to go to how to participate. This is where it gets really interesting because these are the credential groups. So you can set up a credential group. We have all the things that are community-based. So import, if you want to import your own data, so this could be anything from people, I don't know, joining one of your events and you had an email sign-up list. Maybe it's people who um, submitted a Google form in the past. Anything you would want that you have this list of emails or wallet addresses, you can import. We've got the Twitter follower. So then you just put your link here. You just put your link to your uh, Twitter. And if someone's following you, they could get a they could get a reward for doing that. We have the same thing for Twitter like, Twitter retweet. So these are super easy. All you have to do is go and get the link of, the, of that tweet um, and put it here. So of course you have to tweet it out first and then you come back and you add it here. And if anyone has liked that tweet, you can uh, reward them for doing so. And what's super interesting is you can do and or or. So let's say you did or this means that the person has to either follow you or like you or retweet you. Um, and and means you, you want all of these. And this is how you can set up groups. We also have Twitter spaces. We have Discord uh, voice channels, Discord member, Discord messages, um, GitHub contribute, joining a Telegram group, uh, watching a video on YouTube and um, space user credential and visiting a page credential. So these are all the different credentials that you can do that are off chain. 
Then we have a few on-chain, so these are very easy, NFT holders, subgraph, snapshot vote. vote. We can also do anything with API with, um, if you go to import your own data, you can import a lot of stuff either through a Google Sheet, SVS, or API. So if you want people who've um, either sent or bought a specific coin or did the specific action on chain, if you can just easily input that and create a new credential for that. Then we have cyber prevention. So this is an interesting one if you want to make sure that, you know, the users or the people who are participating in your campaign are, are um, actual uh, humans. You can use the Galaxy Passport Holder, which is a NFT KYC. We don't know who the person is, but at least we know it's a human behind it. So you can use that. You can use snapshot vote or we have a few other credentials such as a minimum transaction on ethereum for example let me see if i can find it um for some reason it's not popping up but you could uh add a hey i want someone who's transacted at least 10 times or 30 times on ethereum and then all the credentials you have created in the past that are specific to you would appear here um great so once you've done that you would save that and you would just go ahead and launch your campaign and it would be ready to go if we look at an ongoing campaign right now it would look like something like this so if someone had used galaxy twitter follower um it would look like this um with all the participants their credential the credential here and you would be able to, if the person is eligible they would be able to claim it there and of course, uh, something I forgot to mention is that each action done can be rewarded with a number of points. So example, we are doing the Linea campaign right now, and I know all of those do have a uh, points to them. So Linea Bridge, here you go. Um, you get 10 points for every time you do a specific action, and these can be weighted. So I hope that's, uh, I hope you've learned there and I'm looking forward to seeing your campaigns on Galaxy. If you have any uh, questions, we have a BD and a customer relationships team that can definitely help you. So your Web3 community is waiting, looking forward to seeing what you'll build with us.